NXP's i.NMX RT1170 devices are now available. These dual-core crossover MCUs are reliable, high-performance solutions for IoT, automotive, and industrial applications. In addition to being extremely efficient devices, they also incorporate NXP's edge lock security to prevent tampering and keep data safe. More information is available on NXP's website. Today, we're going to take a couple of minutes to demonstrate one of P-Micro's tools that's ideal for both development and production programming of the i.MX RT 1170 devices, the Cyclone Programmer. The Cyclone is configured using the PC and can then function on its own as a standalone programmer or be controlled and automated via the PC alone or as part of a group of programmers. Let's show you how easy it is to configure a programming image, load it onto the Cyclone, and initiate programming. So here we have a Cyclone that's connected to a NXP IMX RT1170 evaluation board. And on the left, I'm showing the Cyclone image creation utility software. This is the software that's going to configure the programming image and we're going to use this also to store that image onto the Cyclone. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure the correct device is selected. So that's the IMX RT1176 in our case here. And then we're going to pick the flash programming algorithm. And this is the external flash algorithm that corresponds to the flash device on our EVB here. Next, we're going to select which application we'd like to program into the flash. So here I have a blinking LED example that we took from MCU Expresso, one of the SDK projects. So I'm going to select the compiled AXF file here. Next we're going to just do the simplest programming sequence and that is erase, blank check, program, and verify. So this is the most basic sequence that most users will likely follow. But as you can see, there's some other options here as well for some more uh, sophisticated setups. Uh, down here, we're not going to change the default settings. We'll leave the debug mode and the shift frequency alone. And since our EVB is powered with an external barrel connector, we won't need to use any cyclone power options. Down here, we can specify a name to give to the image itself. So we'll call it the IMXRT1176 production image. And now finally, we can just store all of these onto the Cyclone. So we'll click this button over here. This is going to create the image and it's also going to show us all of the images that currently exist. So in this case, I already have a image with the exact same name and I'm just gonna overwrite what's there. So I'm gonna click this button to do that. Okay, so now we are all set. The Cyclone has the image that we just created. When I press the start button on the Cyclone, it's going to execute these steps that I've defined up here. So now to start programming, we simply press the start button on the Cyclone. And once we do that, the Cyclone will begin to perform the programming operations that we specified in the Cyclone image creation utility. And the LCD and the LEDs will give us some real-time feedback on what step it's performing and then whether there was any error at any step and if there was, what exactly the error was. So in this case, we are using standalone mode, which is using a Cyclone without a need for a PC. In this particular case, I do still have the USB cable connected, but we can completely disconnect it, and all we need to do is press the Start button to begin programming operations. So here we do have a green success LED, which means that the evaluation board here is programmed successfully with the steps that we provided. So the LED blinking example is now programmed onto the flash of this board, and if we were to reset or power cycle this target, 
it, it should start running that code in uh, blinking an LED. For more sophisticated automation, you can use the Cyclone in a different mode. Uh, we can use the Cyclone Control SDK to allow a PC to actually directly control what the Cyclones are doing. So you can imagine a situation where you could have multiple Cyclones in your production line all connected to their respective targets and then a single application on the PC, a uh, custom application that you've written, uh, will control all of the Cyclones. So it'll tell the Cyclones to all begin programming, it will query all the Cyclones to determine success versus failure for each Cyclone. And you can also do things like updating the image that's on the Cyclone if the firmware for your product has changed over time. It gives an automated way to really uh, control all of these steps in your production process. If you want more information on exactly how you can use the Cyclone Control SDK in this manner, uh, please visit our website and go to the Cyclone product webpage and there's going to be a lot of resources there that you can explore. Thank you so much for watching. For more information on the Cyclone or any other IMX RT1170 resources, please visit our website at pemicro.com.